just gonna take you guys through a day in my life not even a day just been up for a couple of hours and it's been eventful already yeah so today i woke up and i ate like a lot of mangoes yesterday and i, I don't know if that has anything to do with me feeling better today but i had a i get four i think four that's four mangoes four mangoes is a lot sasha seriously anyway <laughs> but that's more than i normally eat and i woke up this morning and the pain was absolutely settled and when it's in pain is settled i don't mean i'm not in pain i mean it's much more manageable than it usually is i'm in pain every second of every day varying degrees and so i woke up this morning and the pain was just it was so much more settled than it had been for the past week and a half than yesterday and i had energy it was like you know how a normal person wakes up and like you you can do things that sounds so silly <laughs> But yeah, like how a normal person, oh, you can wake up and do stuff. Like you have energy to do things. I don't feel like that. Ever. And I woke up and I was able to, I had like, like physical energy. And I was like, that was an amazing feeling. And I attribute the energy that, I've been ha that I had today and um, the decrease in pain to the mangoes that I had yesterday. I've been using my Dr. Scholl's um, herbal thing again and flaxseed and stuff like that. But there was such a drastic difference in how I felt today and yesterday. And the only thing that changed was that I had mangoes. So I checked in mangoes are actually inflammatory. They have iron. I, I'm anemic. Um, um, and then obviously the carbohydrates and stuff in them will help to give you energy. So I really do think that mangoes are good for me. Are really good. And I'm going to have to keep working on them. Um, um, and outside is really warm today. I'll show you guys what it looks like. It's warm. It's like 32 degrees. This is what it looks like outside today. It is bright. Well, the sun hit me in a cloud right now, so you can't really see it. But well, I was feeling good, and then just like that, um, my legs started to hurt and not like normal pain that I normally get. The humidity, um, I, f I, I realize that it's just, my leg doesn't just have a problem with um, temperature, but the humidity actually plays a bigger role because it's hot today. It is, like I mentioned, it's 32 degrees. It is warm, it is hot today, but I am having pain in the leg because the humidity is 66. Is lower than 70 and anytime the humidity drops below 70 I I pretty much that's that's it I'm done um, so I have to wear let me show you guys what I'm doing right now I have to put this off on and wearing my leggings today and it is bright and hot outside and this is what I have to do today so I'm sitting here doing laundry and these are the trials of chronic illness and every time I take something out of the basket and it touches my leg, the, um, it's colder than I am and this isn't something that a regular person would even know or think about. But it is, and every time it touches my leg, it makes the pain in my leg ten times worse. So anything that comes out of the basket, you know, you dry and close out and you fold in them and stuff. So anything that comes out of the basket and touches my leg makes my leg hurt worse. This, the pain starts in my feet. So I always keep a sock on and to, to keep the leg warm. And it just slowly comes up my leg into my knee and it feels like my knee is exploding I can't and then it comes up all the outside like here is where it's the pain is worse on the outside of my leg so it's like comes all the way up here goes up into my hip all up into my side and um, so touching it touching the leg is painful I have to keep and if it outside gets any colder than it is I actually have to put on much more clothes this is mild temperature adjustment clothing I usually have to wear a thicker leggings over this and um, 
anything that touches my pelvic area hurts. So when I have days where I have to wear multiple layers of clothing, that alone causes increased pain. I have to walk around and lift my clothes off my stomach like that for the entire day. Um, and the top, well, here, like, I don't know if you know that's how it kind of pulled up here because um, it's too tight. If I pull it down, it's too tight across my abdomen. So I have to put, so these are kind of like the daily struggles I have to deal with anyway. Like the kind of clothes that I'm going to wear, the underwear, the, everything that touches my stomach causes pain. From underwear to sheets to clothing, anything, everything. That's the nerve endings in my pelvic area, my abdominal area are jacked. They fried. Then it also causes increased heat. And anything that causes heat anywhere in this area, my pelvic area, is does problem um, because I have issues with inflammation and we know when an area is inflamed it's hot um, so it's giving already giving off heat anything that enhances that makes the pain worse makes everything worse so then I have to walk around and lift my clothes off my stomach um, or use an ice pack I literally have to keep it on my stomach without moving it just like attach to me with the towel over it for um, hours on end you know usually you keep anything cold on you for more that 30 seconds and you start to lay like, ah, oh my god no if I in 30 seconds my stomach isn't even starting to cool down after 5 10 15 minutes the pain might start to ease up a little bit and if I take it off from the second I move the ice pack I can feel the heat and the pain starts intensifying and I want to go to a meeting and I'm really hoping that the pain in my leg eases up because I'm talking to you guys and I look like I feel okay I really don't <laughs> I really don't. The pain is bad. Um, it's not severe. It's not hospital pain. I have there's a, for me a difference between severe pain and hospital pain. <laughs> this is not normal <laughs> to feel your insides burning. It, it, my insides are burning, and my leg feels like somebody's taking a sledgehammer and just, like bang from my hip, my knee. So update, you guys. It is. Uh, after seven, didn't make it to meeting. The pain actually got worse. It's now in my back. The pelvic pain is worse. Um, the pain medication is not sufficient to um, to help the pain. I'm so sorry that you guys keep seeing in my nose. I'm really sorry. <laughs> so three, four, three days before my period is supposed to start. Um, so. I expected that because I knew that the pain would normally start today, but I woke up and I was feeling okay and I was just so shocked. But, um, yeah, as the day progressed, it did kind of lead into that. And it's depressing when you make plans and you just, and you're not able to, to go. So imagine what it would be like if you had um like a hysterectomy no, not necessarily hysteri a hysterectomy or you have had a cesarean section where your entire abdominal wall gets cut imagine the kind of pain like how you how you would be how you would have to walk what it would feel like on a on a car regular right? like every bunks everything you have to sway because you can't use your abdominal muscles the way you normally would because it would cause severe pain so that's kind of like what it what is like for me. You guys can hear my voice. <laughs> it's no better. It's still groggy. And that's for me a very good indication of what the following days are going to be like. Ah, uh, this is a day in the life. Sounds really depressing, right? And this is not even my worst day. <laughs> not even nearly. This is more like an average day for me. That is sad. <laughs> but it is also true. And um, yeah, so again, thanks for watching guys. And bye.